Hey, this is Bill with Lamar. I'm back with Tech Talks. In fact, kind of non-Tech Talks are very simple to understand. So this one, we're going to talk about uniform energy and why it's important. And you, you'll be able to see it real clearly. You don't need to know a bunch of things like your radiance and milliwatts per square centimeter and joules per square centimeter and all those things. We're just going to talk about taking a look at a couple different mask styles for skin rejuvenation on your face and what does uniform energy mean. So the first one I'm going to show you is what's available on the market. Um, here is the here is the product. And the first thing you can see is not very bright. I mean, it's not doing much to the camera as far as over energizing the camera. And also, if I if you don't get an idea what uniform energy means, look at all the dead space in between the lights here. You can basically fit your finger between the lights. What that means is my finger is getting nothing. As you see, if I move it over here, you might be able to see it shining through my finger. It's not very powerful, but you can probably see it shining through my finger. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a piece of paper over it. So you can do this with any any light that's out there. Just put a piece of paper over it. And I think you can see what we mean by uniform energy. There's basically dark spots in between all of those lights. So there's really nothing getting to 85% of your face. So unfortunately, there are thousands of these sold every single day. And you can see now what you need to have for you, that this is not gonna be effective on your face because it just does not have uniform energy. As I said, we'll talk about power and jewels and other tech talks, but let's just do uniform energy. So now you know what a mask looks like that doesn't work. And unfortunately, you'll find tens or hundreds of these on Amazon and from direct from suppliers. Some of them, as I said, sell over a thousand units a day. So now let's take a look at what a uniform energy looks like on a product that does work. So this is our Lumara Viso. We just started shipping that this past week. In other words, the end of May. And this is what Uniform Energy looks like on a product that actually works. You notice there is no dead space on this panel. So let's just put our finger on and hopefully you can see how it shines through our finger. And now I'm gonna put a piece of paper on and you can see what Uniform Energy looks like. Take a look at that. So you're actually getting actual energy um, into the skin on 100% of what this covers on your face. Let's take a power meter now and we'll actually measure it. We're not gonna worry about the level of the power meter, but we're gonna look at what we have as far as what's, what kind of light's coming out and how uniform it is across the panel. So I'm gonna take a look at the first one that I showed you. So here's the panel. Here's the power meter. We're gonna turn the power meter on. We're not gonna worry about what kind of power meter it is. We know that it's measuring optical power and it's not hard to tell the difference between zero Here's zero coming in out of the meter, okay? And then if we move it over a little bit, we can actually get the power. So we're getting a fairly high level there. This one is about 25 milliwatts per square centimeter. So it's pretty good power, but we'll talk about power and how important the power is later. But look as I slide this meter along, you know, virtually whole parts of the mask are zero. You know, it's not getting any energy into our skin here. So, and then we go over here, it's about about 15% of the mask surface area actually has light that's getting into our skin. So for you women, this would be like putting your um, foundation on in a few dots. Imagine putting your foundation on with a Q-tip and putting it across your forehead in these many spots. So dot, 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 dot. You certainly wouldn't leave the house looking like that. So this is what this is doing as far as this type of LED mask. Again, you'll see thousands of these are sold per day and there's literally a hundred of them on Amazon that you can purchase. So for us guys, an analogy would be more like taking a Q-tip, putting your sunscreen on. So if I'm gonna go out to the beach or go out and play volleyball or go on the lake or something, I'm not gonna take a cotton swab and put my, my uh, sunscreen on with, with dots. You'll see little kids kind of do this. Oh, put your sunscreen on. They'll take a little dot and put it on here, here, and here. And of course, that's what kind of treatment you're getting with this kind of mask. So now let's take a look at the other one, the Viso. So we'll turn this all the way up. And now we can slide the power meter across here and we have power everywhere. So the power is about the same power as the other mask, but we're getting energy everywhere where this is. So again, we'll go back to the final analogy. Which one would you rather use on your face? This one that gives you uniform energy or the other one that has a lot of dead space in the mask, 85% of the dead space. And believe it or not, there's, this is one of the best ones. Okay, there's some that have even less LEDs on it and bigger spacing. So that's the wrap up for Tech Talks today and on Uniform Energy. We'll come back with Tech Talks on optical power, how much you have to have to get results. 
and we'll also come back and explain jewels and all these other specs that people have. But you don't need to know the specs. You don't need to have a power meter. You can see that this is just not gonna be very effective on our face. It's gonna be on 15% of our skin. We slide it around maybe six different places we can get, but now we're talking about a couple of hours and moving this thing around, trying to get a real result. Take care, have a good rest of your day. Tech Talks with Bill.